Who would have thought a few centuries ago that in the 21st century practically everyone on Earth would have an opportunity of actually observing Mars being explored? And today, thanks to the Perseverance Mars rover, we'll be bringing you the very latest updates. Let's get started! To date, Perseverance has stayed 36 sols on the Red Planet. It has beamed back a great number of high-quality pictures for us to check out. Here are some of the latest. These two images were taken by the rover on Sol 32 using its onboard left navigation camera, which is located high on the mast. This image was taken on the same day, but with its onboard right navigation camera. These images were taken by the rover shortly before this video was posted. In addition to those, one of the most exciting things captured by the rover is a traveling sand whirlwind, which is popularly known as the Dust Devil. In the video posted on space.com, the dust devil is seen to be traveling from the right to the left. No information about the whirlwind's size and rate has at this point been made public by NASA. Still, as giant dust whirlwinds are a common sight on Mars, there will be plenty of opportunities for the rover to study them in more detail. Since the size of these dust devils is dozens of times that of whirlwinds on our Earth, they might pose a serious threat to the machinery, so specialists at NASA will have to watch out for them and make sure that a safe distance is maintained between them and the rover at all times. Another important kind of information received on Earth from Perseverance is sounds recorded on the surface of Mars. In the past few weeks, the rover has captured several recordings. For example, in early March, NASA posted the sound of the rover zapping rocks with its laser while investigating them. And here is the sound. In this short recording, we can hear the laser impacts. The shots were taken from a distance of about 3 meters. Some impacts are louder than others which will help researchers gain deeper understanding of the target's physical structure, for example about varying hardness of different rocks. In other, more recent recordings, we can hear the Mars rover rolling along on the Martian surface. In the first audio file, we can hear raw sound recorded by Perseverance as it was moving along the Jezero crater. The noise was generated by the interaction of the rover's wheels and suspension with the surface. As for the high-pitched scratching noise, it may either be electromagnetic interference from one of the rover's electronics boxes or else interactions between the rover's mobility system and the planet's surface. The second recording is a short compilation of segments taken from the original audio file, which was unprocessed and unfiltered. A 
And now for the biggest news about the mission. The recent announcement with details about the first test flight of the Ingenuity helicopter on Mars. Earlier, the debris shield was dropped. It was protecting the helicopter when Perseverance was landing in the Jezero crater. Then NASA's controllers searched for the best takeoff site for the rotorcraft. A month since the rover's landing, they found a suitable location. There were two criteria that predefined the choice – the flatness of the surface and no big rocks. It didn't take long to find the place. The planned takeoff site for the helicopter is just a hundred meters away from the rover's landing site. NASA also announced that the test flight is planned to take place not sooner than on April the 8th. The event may probably be postponed for several days. Mission controllers also hope to take a few pictures with the cameras mounted on the Ingenuity helicopter. When going 5 meters up and higher, the rotorcraft will be able to observe a rather vast stretch of Martian terrain. As for the test flights, they are going to continue for about 30 Earth days. Perseverance has been on the Red Planet for over a month now. In this period, it has captured images of the Martian surface and sound recordings. Thanks to geologic experiments it has carried out, scientists found that some Martian rocks are similar to volcanic formations on Earth in terms of their chemical composition. As for the main experiments of the mission, we still have a few months ahead of us before they start. After the rover completes all the planned tests, it will move on to the key part of its mission, which is probably the most exciting for all of us back on Earth – a search for extraterrestrial life. To that end, Perseverance will have to drill the bottom of the Jezero crater and extract some rock samples. These rocks may reveal traces of life in the distant past, as they probably witnessed the times when there were seas and oceans on Mars. Scientists at NASA will receive the samples with whatever evidence they are to reveal not sooner than in 2031. While we are looking forward to results of the investigations, Perseverance will perhaps show us many more exciting finds to marvel at. I, in my turn, will do my best to be in the loop at all times and keep you posted on the Cosmo channel whenever anything comes up. How did you enjoy the video? Are you looking forward to the test flights? Feel free to hit the like button and share your opinion about the mission in the comments below. Let's keep in touch.